Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 530 that says minimum absolute difference in binary search tree. So guys, although this question is easy, but this question is very much intuitive and it will help you to build the intuition for binary search tree and different uh, traversal techniques for binary search tree. So yeah guys, stick till then and watch the complete video. So here uh, you are given one binary search tree and you need to find the minimum absolute difference between any two nodes. Okay. So if you take a look at the first example, uh, you can choose any two nodes, uh, take the absolute difference and uh, we need to return the minimum absolute difference, right? So yeah, let's say uh, in the first example, you chose uh, 4 and 2, node 4 and node 2, the absolute difference between their values is 2, okay? Then you, uh, let's say you selected 4 and 3, the minimum difference between 4 and 3 is nothing but 1 and yeah, uh, similarly uh, further you can also take 2 and 1. The minimum difference between 2 and 1 is also 1. So overall you can see guys is the minimum difference between the uh, uh, between all the different pairs of nodes here would be 1. So minimum absolute difference would be 1 okay from all the differences between all different pairs of nodes. So yeah guys that's why we written 1 here. Now if you take a look at the second example. So here you can directly see that the difference between 0 and 1 is 1. And the difference between other pairs of nodes are all are greater than 1. So yeah, we simply return our answer 1. Okay. Now, moving ahead, if you have some example like this, uh, where you have nodes like uh, this is the starting or the root node 0 and you have some binary search tree like this. Now, if you want to find the minimum difference here, then how will you proceed? Okay. So guys, one way is to store all the values of the tree in a vector. Okay. Then we can sort the vector and the difference between adjacent element of the sorted vector will give us the differences and taking the minimum of those differences will give us our answer. Okay. Now, uh, why this will work? This is, this will work because if you sort uh, any given array, let's say you sort, this is a sorted array. Okay. And if you take a difference between adjacent elements and minimum of all this difference would be your answer, right? So let's say you are given some uh, random n elements inside a, a vector and you need to find the minimum difference between any two elements. Then what you can do is you can sort the vector and take the difference between adjacent elements and the minimum of all this difference, the difference between adjacent element 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4 and likewise. So minimum of all those difference will give you the answer. Okay. So similarly what we can do is we can store all the values of the given tree in a vector, right? We can store that. We can do by using DFS traversal or BFS traversal with any traversal technique. We can traverse the binary search tree and store the values inside our vector. Then the next thing is what we can do is we can sort the vector and the difference between adjacent element of the sorted vector will give the best possible answer and the minimum of all those differences will be our answer. Okay. So yeah, guys, that is one approach to solve this question. But here we have to, uh, we will be using extra space to store the values, then we are sorting the vector. So this will cause some additional space as well as some additional time complexity. And we need to figure out how to reduce this. So if you take a step back and think of what is binary search tree. So binary search tree is nothing but uh, it's like all the values of the left child will have values less than the root and all the nodes on the, of the right side or the right child will have values greater than the root. And if you do a traversal from left node to root to, towards the right, then it will be sorted. So that is nothing but in order traversal. Traverse in the left node, then the root node and then the right. So if you traverse in this fashion, uh, in a in order traversal, then the uh, values that we will get would be itself sorted. So we don't need to sort that. And we also don't need to store. See. Uh, doing the in order traversal on binary search tree will result uh, in a sorted array. Okay. The next thing is uh, what we were doing. We were finding the difference between edges and elements, right? So do we, uh, so since we only care about the previous element, let's say we are at this nine. So here we only care about uh, the previous element. So let's say 15. And if you want to take a difference, you only uh, take a, a difference with the previous element, not with any other element, right? So yeah, guys, what we can do is we can uh, traverse the binary search tree in, in order manner as well as we can store the previous elements. So if you do this thing, traverse in, in order manner as well as store the previous node, then by taking the difference between the previous node and the current node, you will get the answer. And similarly, we can 
process this thing for all the nodes and the minimum of all the answer would be our final answer. So yeah guys that same thing we will do here and let's try to make a dry run. So this is the given binary search tree here and we will perform a in order traversal. Now in order traversal means nothing but so if you are present at a root so what we will do is the first step would be traverse all the left chain the second step would be process the node and the third step would be traverse all the right chain so this is how we perform the in order traversal so let's begin also as i told you earlier that we will maintain one previous node so that uh, we can take a difference during the step two that is the processing the node so initially uh, let's say the previous is nothing but null previous is null so yeah and we are traversing starting from here root node that is zero so at the first step what we will do is we will check do we have anything on the left no then the second step process the node but since the previous was null so we won't perform this step okay and the third step is go to the right child okay so here we are moving to the right child 12 now for this 12 the we first what we would do is we would check whether we have a left node yeah if we have a left node move to the left now for 9 we will again check do we have a left node yeah then move to a left for a 3 do we have anything on the left no we don't have anything on the left then the step 2 comes so in the step 2 what we do is we take the difference so step 2 or processing a node that means taking the difference with the previous so what we would do is we would simply do 3 minus 0 see uh, whenever we move towards the right what we would do is before the moving towards the right we would update previous to the node or the current node so at this point um, there would be a current node 0 in the, uh, the node 0 in the previous and 3 is our current node okay so this is how we take the difference and we would store it in our answer and the third step as you can see is moving towards the right child yeah we have a right child here then move towards the right but before moving towards the right make previous point to 3 okay got it so yeah now from here uh, do we have anything on the left no then the step 2 is process the node that is to take a difference that is 7 minus 3 okay after processing the difference make previous point to 7 okay then move towards the right but do we have anything on the right no we don't have anything so after this stop stop from here now uh, in the recursive stack okay so this is uh, a recursive call right the in order traversal is a recursive call so in the recursive stack the next element present after 3 would be 9 okay the next element present after 3 would be 9 because for 3 we have performed all these 3 steps that is move towards the left process the node and also move towards the right but for the node 9 we this step 2 and step 3 are remaining so yeah a recursive stack will contain node 9 and we will perform these 2 steps so in the step 2 we will take the difference between the previous so that is nothing but 9 minus 7 and we will change previous point to 9 okay and we will check do we have anything on the right no we don't have anything on the right then end this recursive call for 9 here afterwards in the recursive stack we would be having 12 so yeah take the difference with the previous so previous was 9 take the difference then uh, change previous to 12 that is the current element and then move towards the right do we have anything on the right yeah move towards the right for 15 do we have anything on the left no so first step is done second step is process the node so that is nothing but take the difference with the previous and change previous to 15 okay so step 1 and 2 are completed and step 3 is nothing but move towards the right so here also there is nothing on the left then take the difference and yeah move towards the right but since there is nothing on the right as well so we would stop we would stop and at this point there would be no elements remaining in the recursive stack so guys this is how the recursive stack will help us to do in order traversal and yeah by taking the difference with the previous element will help us to get the answer so this would this is nothing but same here we are doing 3 minus 0 7 minus 3 9 minus 7 and it's the same thing we did here 3 minus 0 7 minus 3 9 minus 7 and so on so guys by using the property of binary search tree that in order traversal result in sorted array will help us to get the answer right and also storing the previous element it will help us to take the difference between the adjacent elements simple it is so yeah that's why i told that if you know the properties of the uh, binary search tree so this is very good question to learn the properties and fundamentals of a binary search tree this is very intuitive question and moving ahead to the coding part the coding part is very much simple here so 
we initialize the answer variable as int max and call this solve function. So this solve function will traverse the given uh, given binary search tree in in order manner. So that is nothing but first check if we have anything on the left. Yeah, then traverse the left node. This is the step one. Then the step two is process the node that is taking the difference and changing the previous to root. And the third step is moving towards the right. The same thing we discuss here is that in the code. So yeah, code is very much easy to understand once you have visualized the dry run of how you will traverse each node of the binary search tree, right? The visualization is very much important for the recursive problems, right? So now talking about the time and space complexity, the time complexity here would be big O of n as uh, we are uh, traversing n nodes and the space complexity here would be uh, u would be nothing but big O of 1 as we are not storing anything plus a uh, recursive stack will store the nodes, right? Recursive stack will store the nodes and this space complexity would be we go of h, where h is the height of the tree. So that many number of nodes would be stored in the recursive stack at uh, at max at a point of time. So let's say if the height of a tree is 4. So at a time, uh, maximum 4 nodes will be stored in the recursive stack. So that's why the height of the tree would be our space complexity. So yeah guys, that's all for this video. I hope you guys have understood this video. Uh, and if, yeah, if you have still any doubts then do let me know in the comment section. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.